on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You know, we knew this was going on with Benghazi, but Kurt Nemo's written an article about it. Al-Qaeda in Syria gets man pads. For those who don't know, that's the latest generation of service-to-air anti-aircraft missile stingers. And we have the video. Um, Obama administration floated the PR campaign for weapons that were sent to them years ago. And the word is that they leaked to them as well. These are the newer ones at Benghazi, and we're going to tie Benghazi into this. That is a big deal. That's coming up. But let's go to the calls that have been holding a while. Uh, opening the phones up, uh, I'd like to hear from you out there. What is your line in the sand? What, do you th what does your gut tell you is going to happen with the Bundys? Uh, do you agree with me? This is a really watershed event, uh, um, and it's important which way it goes, obviously. 800-259-9231, first-time callers. Mike in Wyoming, uh, you were finishing up your points. Uh, yes. Still there, Alex? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was suggesting that uh, the Bundys, uh, since the, obviously uh, uh, Reed and, and that uh, gang are not going to let this drop, in fact, uh, it, it's now become imperative for them to uh, to make a uh, 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 make a symbol out of uh, Bundy. Uh, you know, uh, Bundy should take the offensive here, uh, file charges, swear out charges against these uh, thugs uh, for assault with with weapons. I mean, there is no there is no reason for them to have their weapons drawn and pointed at the uh, at the demonstrators there. Uh, number two, these people ran around, some of them, with uh, police on their jackets. That's impersonating police. They, these feds, no matter, no matter how much authority they claim to have, they are not police. This, the federal government does not have municipal police powers, period. And, and uh, that, again, is something that the sheriff should address. If he doesn't, uh, if I were Bundy, I would, I would try to get in front of a grand jury and, and make my uh, points there. And, and if nothing else, you can pursue a civil action. Uh, with a uh, Bivens action against these uh, federal agents uh, for the for the damages that they did for for the for the terrorism that they committed, uh, so uh, Bundy should launch, launch an offensive here and, and not wait for them to make the next move. Well, I agree with that. He should start some different uh, court cases at the state level as well, just just to point out morally that the feds are out of control. People say, well, the federal courts supersede the state only because they say so, only because they've created this idea. But look at the movement already now giving moral support to the state legislators to take the, the, the ill-gotten federal land and to move forward with a state's rights movement in the West, which is outrageously popular with we the people. Now is the time uh, to, to start putting our foot down on every front and get on the offense so they start backing off. Federal courts, Alex, are courts of uh, limited jurisdiction. They are, they are Article Four courts created by Congress, and they have jurisdiction over federal enclaves. They only have it over federal enclaves, the military, and the borders, and interstate commerce, and they won't even operate over the things they're supposed to. It's funny. The Federal Reserve controls the currency when the Congress is supposed to. Uh, they don't control the border, even though they're supposed to. They're putting all that into UN uh, rulings now. They're transferring the federal power to UNESCO and the UN. They are engaged in the in, in the criminal takeover of this country and the transference to groups that uh, are outside of this country. Also have authority if you give it to them. If you show up in their courts, go past the bar, you've given them jurisdiction, or if you if you petition them with your own action, you've given them authority. Otherwise, all, all these things should be dealt with in state courts. Well, it's a complex issue. You know, I've seen federal courts, uh, it just took a long time, rule in favor of Nevada ranchers saying the BLM's criminal. Uh, that's not to say they're not, a, you know, they can be fair, but uh, you just as soon stay out of them if you can. Well, it's a very complex issue, but overall, I agree with you. Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, we're going to come back, and we're going to go to uh, everybody that's patiently holding. Daniel, 
and Darren and Alvin Mill, many others. Stay with us. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. your phone calls i'm asking what is your line in the sand uh we're either going to have it towards the end of the broadcast today or on the nightly news tonight jakari jackson's put together a one year later uh the boston bombing looking at that false flag and everything that happened there we don't air it today i'll air it tomorrow i need to get into uh, the reports that we've got here uh clinton files on media enemies have been released learn what hillary meant by vast right-wing conspiracy they were scared of the internet period of WorldNet Daily and Matt Drudge. And that was when that was all just starting, that, oh my gosh, we don't want them to have a voice. They want everybody silenced, so it looks like they're in control. These people are not impossible to beat. In fact, they're quite easy to beat if we just stand up against them. Speaking of dangerous, remember when the terrorists were Al-Qaeda? And then we were pointing out, hey, you know, the CIA and other governments Saudi Arabians especially are funding Al-Qaeda and protecting them and using them as a secret army to overthrow the Serb areas in Kosovo, to attack the Russians, to 
attack areas in Europe. And, and, and these are real jihadis, real terrorists. It's just that they're funded and protected three layers up by the West. Oh, Alex, how dare you say Dick Cheney had the plunger on 9-11 like Wiley Coyote. No, that's not what I said. They're criminal, radical Muslim networks that are being protected in jihad centers here in the U.S. I'm even going to send some of our reporters to one very soon. That's in local news, but not national news, where they actually have tr training camps and they're left alone. Because they need that as a reason to take over. Boston bombing. The older brother was on the CIA payroll. That came out in even British news. The Russians blew his cover and said, does this guy work for you? Why is he allowed to fly with a fake passport and a fake name? He was sheep dipped, folks. He had a fake name. Did you hear that? Funded by the State Department through Georgetown University to go over there. And then, oh, we got to get rid of him. The, the younger brothers said he's not guilty. And they're keeping that trial secret under national security because he's in there saying he didn't do it and he was set up. Shut up, you traitor. We all know the government didn't do anything wrong. Now, here's the headline, Infowars.com. Al-Qaeda in Syria gets anti-aircraft missiles or man pads. Obama at men floats PR campaign for weapons sent years ago. And they're announcing why they did it. And it's actual Saudi Arabian real Wahhabi Al-Qaeda. Let's play some of that video, then I'm going to go back to your calls. Video and audio, uh, here it is. Modern stingers. Unbelievable. Allahu Akbar. Rukatas Akwat Khas. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Attack Rukatas Akwat Khas. Allahu Akbar. And there's videos of tow missiles, anti-tank missiles, and these guys shooting aircraft down. I mean, those are high-powered missiles. That thing must have gone 5,000 feet. The globalists want our guns, and they want to call Bundy a terrorist. But these guys they're giving weapons to. And they're saying if we don't overthrow Assad, Al-Qaeda will nuke the West Coast, the East Coast. All right, that's enough. Please turn it off. I mean, it's so elementary what's going on. And I don't think the average police officer or average FBI agent or average person, even the CIA, wants to be any part of this. Everyone has to remove their consent from this fraud. And this, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. This is being used to overthrow our culture and bring on a police state. All right, let's go to uh, Daniel in Tennessee, listing on WBCR 1470 uh, AM. I guess one of six affiliates we've got in Tennessee. Got a lot of stations in Tennessee for this show. I'm going to go to Daryl or Darren and others. Go ahead. Uh, you're on the air, Daniel. Thank you, Alex. First time caller and in 10 years I've been trying. Um, as a colleague, I'll ask you for only 120 seconds. I can say what I can get uh, get on there. Go ahead, brother. Uh, first of all, the line has been drawn by the feds back when they kicked the church door in Idaho, back when they shot and killed some of the Minutemen in Montana, back at Ruby Ridge, back at Waco. They're the ones that drew the line in the sand and dared the American public to even think about crossing that line. The line has been drawn by them, and so many people have been cowered until we hear somebody like uh, Mr. Bundy come up and stand against them and the patriots with the uh, militia, the well-armed militia. One more thing you need to know. I know for a fact that Harry Greed is a Mormon, and one of the 13 articles of faith are, do you believe we believe in being honest with our fellow man in all our dealings at every time, all the time. And he is a Mormon. That's a fact. I know that. I have contacts in Las Vegas right now. So here is Harry Greed kind, kind of hiding in the closet for what he supposedly, allegedly believes in. 
and to tell Mr. Bundy, please, that all of uh, the stakes in the wards back here in the East are praying for him and his family. And lastly, Alex, I pray that they don't try to make a martyr out of you.